point that out. But yeah, that you have to, they have to tell you somewhere. And it tells you, use the table below. So would it be number 12? So it says the table shows the range of scores on a math test and the number of students who scored in each range. So it asks you which range had the most scores. Zero to 100, that be right? Where are we at? At the most, are you looking at the most? Oh, 80, 80 to 89. 80 to 89. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the answer. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. All of these are ranges. No, that's not the same as well, the range that? that I asked you about. I mean, that's not I mean, that. In range that. can be that's used that, that. in different ways. They didn't ask you what's the range. They told you here in this chart that this is the range. It ranged from 90 to 100. These many people got 90 to 100. These many people got the range 80 to 89. That's what range is there. They ask you which range. All of these are ranges. Because that's what the title says, right? Oh, yeah. It asks you which range had the most scores. So you just look at the range and look at the highest scores. Well, what's the highest score? 12. What's the range? 80 to 89. 80 to 89. See, you, you guys are, one word does not always mean the same thing. You're still hung up on what I told you that's was the range of statistics. Mm -hmm. They're not asking you the range of a group of numbers. That's what uh -huh. we were talking about here. What is the range in a yeah. set of numbers? This has a title called range. <laughs> like if it's called purple, you know. <laughs> right. A range means a, from something to something. Okay. And they're saying that when people took a test, they, didn't, they don't have it for each score. They don't have... One person scored a zero, two people scored 59. They said between zero and 59, that's a range of numbers, but they're not asking you to find the range. They're just saying which one had the most. They ask you which one of these ranges had the most tests. They already gave a range. The range is 90 to 100. They didn't ask you what's the range. If they ask you for that, but they didn't ask you the range. They gave a range of, 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 of 10 numbers. But they're not asking you what's the range. You understand what I'm saying? You're, you're mixing two things together. So what would the answer be then? Well, read the chart. <laughs> which range had the most? Which range had the most score? What's the highest score? And what is the range that it says May 12th? Oh, so it's 80 to 89. 80 to 89. 80 to 89. <laughs> why did you just say that, Miss We did. I don't know how many times, Tommy. <laughs> How many scores were from 90 to 100, just in case you right. still have a problem? How many scores were from 90 to 100? <laughs> That's the time. Six. Six. Yeah. Okay. So they're not using range to ask you what is the range of this set of numbers. And that's what you guys are looking for just because we just talked about range. But that's not. Range can be used for anything. The range of... What's the range of employment of, of a pay? You know, start and pay. The range start and pay usually has a range. They may pay somebody seven fifty. Somebody else come in with experience. They may pay them eight fifty. So the range is seven fifty to eight fifty. You see what I'm saying? That's the range of pay. But if they say here is a group of numbers, what is the range of these numbers? It goes from this to this. Okay. Any other questions about these data points and probability? Let's look on page 220. What is this graph about? The average monthly income. So that means, what does that mean to you? Do they make this much every month? No. But when they added them all up for the year, and divided by what? 12. They came up with how much they make on average every month. Okay? So, then what's along the left axis there? What do those numbers report? Income. Income. And how do those numbers go up? By what increments? 200. 200. So if it came between 24 and 26, what's what's halfway between 24 and 26? 25. 25 would be there, right, if it came there. So it's not like it's uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 26. You know, it has to, you have to know. Okay, 
So, but each line is is marked with a label. And then what is the axis across the bottom? The years. The years. So they do it for each year from 98 to 2002. Okay. Now that's their monthly income. What does the bottom chart show us? Their expenses. Their monthly expenses. Now you notice they give us money for their income, but they give us percent for their expenses. And this is just for what year, though? 2002. 2002. Okay, so you know that if you're looking at something, you're going to have to use the 2002 number, okay? So let's look at the questions. What was the Maynard family's average monthly income in 2001? 3600. Okay, 3600. In what year did the Maynard's average monthly income first reach 2800? 99. Okay, 99. And then it stayed that way for 2000, didn't it? Then it went up. Okay. How much, no, together, the categories of clothes and credit card make up what fraction of the Maynards? One fourth. <laughs> You're just jamming there. Yeah, it's yeah. One fourth. Let's look at that because it says what? The clothes are 15%, the credit card is 10%, so altogether that's. 25% and it asks for fraction, and you know that 25% is one fourth, so that is correct. Yeah, she's just going, we're going to give her a gold star today. Okay. But you notice that, again, it asks for a fraction. You see what I'm saying? And if it were multiple choice, they may have had 25 or something there, you know, or 25% or something, or they may have had something else, but they're asking for the fraction. Now tell me this. How much money, this is not on there, I'm asking you. How much money did they spend a month on clothes in 2002? How would you find that out? What do you need to know? If I wanted to know if I wanted to know how much was spent on clothes, all they told me is that 15% of their money was spent on clothes, I need to know how, how much, much their money was, right? Then I can do this, because I would need to know what is, like she said, 15% of 3,400 in 2002, right? You follow that? See, so they give you enough information to figure that all out, then the math comes. You see, the math doesn't come first, you gotta figure out what has to be done first, then comes the math. Because if you, she's already said, also, that uh, if I want to know, for instance, clothes and credit card, and she's told us it's a fourth, if I know that, the, that he makes $3,400 a month, do I have to do is over of to figure out a fourth? How else can I figure out what is a fourth of $3,400? Divided by four. by four. If it was a fourth, because I need to know what do I have four of exactly alike in $3,400 that will be a fourth of 3,400. So there are all kinds of ways to figure it out once you understand what it's all about, okay? But again, as soon as you see percent, you're right. When you see it's a percent problem, your mind's got to click on, okay, is over of equals percent over 100. Mm -hmm. that's, if you're going to have to figure out something, that's what you're going to need. Sometimes they may just ask something a little more simpler than that, but that's how your mind has to, to get to because that's the way you figure out percent problems. Everything has to trigger something, you see. Learning all of this is not going to help if you don't know when to use what. You have to know what's going to trigger, how do I know when I need to find the percent? Well, if it talks about the percent of, if I, need, if I can figure out in my head, I need to know what is 15% of 3,400. You see what I'm saying? Then I've already said it. I've already set it up. And as soon as I set it up and say it, I can write it down and plug in the numbers and figure out the answer. But it's figuring out that's what you needed to know. Okay? So it asks here, how much did the Maynard save each month in 2002? So what percent did they save? 4%. 4 percent. In 2002, they saved 4 percent of what? 3,400. 3, so again, I need to know what is 
four percent of thirty four hundred. You see, they gave you the percent, they didn't give you the money, but you can figure that out. Okay. How much did the Maynards spend each month for rent in two thousand two? Thirty percent. They spent thirty percent. So how much money did they spend? I need to know what. The plus the 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, what is 30% of 3,400, you see? Tell me this. What's 10% of 3,400? Quick. 34. No, 340. 340. If 340 is 10%, how much is 30%? How did you tell me that 10% is 340 times 3? Remember, to find 10% of a number, what do we do? The decimal. Go back one. Or you can do the times the three, can't you? To find the 30%. Point three, yeah. So there's 10% there. If I want to know 30%, it's just three of these, right? Three tenths. So if I just multiply times the three, I'm going to get that. Same as you would get if I want to know what is 10 or 30% 30 of 3,400. You can do it that way as well. You're going to multiply it. How are we going to divide by 100? Move it over on two faces. Move it back two. There's your 10 point there as well. Same as there. All kinds of ways to figure that out once you understand it. Maybe you're following that, so I am. It gets 